Welcome back to Pulling Brilliance Out in STEM. Today we are doing a review of two online learning resources for preschoolers and kindergartners. Hello everyone, I am Cassandra and I'm coming to you today with a uh, review video of two learning resources that our children have been trying out since we've been uh, staying at home under quarantine due to the COVID-19 global pandemic, um, which is definitely bringing about interesting times. I hope that all of the parents and guardians out there are having an opportunity to do some self-care. This is very overwhelming, taking on the role of educating your children while you're either still having to physically go to work or working remotely from home. Um, so yes, I hope you have some opportunities to have a moment to yourself. I know here having uh, three little people, we have Preston who's six, Braxton who is three and Olivia who is two. They all have very different needs um, during the day. And so it's definitely been an adjustment. And so I've been really working to find some online resources to help supplement some of the worksheets and different more hands-on activities that we do during the day so that they can have some consistent practice on um, some curriculum that was developed for their particular age. And so specifically for Preston and Braxton, not so much for Olivia, we're working on other things with her like potty training, um, and coloring some other fine motor skills. Um, but mainly for our boys, we've been trying out two resources, ABC Mouse and Khan Academy Kids. And so these are online tools um, that provide different types of activities in reading, in math, number, um, fluency, uh, just some different activities. Um, and so, We've been trying them both with both children and I wanted to just bring to you really quickly um, some pros and cons about both. And so we'll just jump right into it. All right, let's start with ABC Mouse. So I took some notes. Some things that I like about ABC Mouse is they have a really great assessments um, add-on. Now ABC Mouse does cost. There is a subscription fee, uh, which varies depending on if you subscribe for a certain length of time, if you pay all at once or choose to do a monthly subscription, um, but there is a cost for ABC Mouse. Um, and then they have some add-on things that you can um, purchase as well. And so the assessments feature is one of them. And I went ahead and I um, got the assessments feature and I was really excited to take each child through the assessments. Um, and I found out very quickly um, that it was not as simple as it kind of looked on the screen. Uh, and so we made it through a few of the assessments and I like that because we can come back to that and see how they're progressing. And also through the activities, uh, ABC Mouse measures your child's progress. They send progress reports. Uh, there's a really nice parent section where you can go in and check out uh, what your child is doing. I will say for both uh, ABC Mouse and Khan Academy kids, at least for my children um, who are still um, kind of young and early on in their academic experiences, it's not something that you can hand to them and then go make dinner. Uh, you definitely want to sit with them and work through the activities together to make sure that they're giving full effort, to make sure that they don't have questions about what the um, instructions are. And so that is definitely very important, especially with ABC Mouse. So ABC Mouse does a few things well. It um, definitely brings the fun of classroom experiences into the app. And so the kids right at the beginning get to select their avatar. I was very pleased they had a nice selection um, of different um, skin tones and some ethnic features that you can tell in like facial expressions and hairstyles um, to really customize the avatar and the kids really enjoyed that. Um, they also had a nice variety of teachers to select from in terms of if you wanted a male or a female. Um, 
and different options. So I really uh, appreciated that part of ABC Mouse. Um, and they also have lots of fun elements. Uh, they really have some gamification built in. So when the kids complete an activity, they receive tickets. They can then use those tickets as they accumulate to purchase things either for their room. So they have a, like a room area um, or for their fish tank or for their hamster cage, um, which is really fun. And my youngest son really enjoys those features. Um, so much so back to my first point, you can't leave him um, with the app and say, do this activity um, because I'll come back maybe three minutes later to check on him and he's like fooling around with his hamster cage uh, and the hamster and like rearranging the pipes and things. And so that helps to get a little distracted and off task. So although I appreciate the fun piece uh, and the kids seem to really enjoy that, um, it sometimes is a distraction. Also, what I'll say about ABC Mouse is for me, it feels very dated in terms of the activities and kind of how they're set up. Um, sometimes it's very slow depending on what device we're using. So we have the um, Amazon Fire tablets for our little ones. We didn't want to invest in i3 iPads. Um, they're sometimes careless with their tablets. And so we wanted to go with a more affordable option, um, understanding that they might break just being honest. And so um, we have three um, Amazon Fire tablets. They work really well for most things. Uh, the kids really enjoy going on Disney Plus and Netflix and um, playing different games. But the ABC Mouse app on their tablet runs very, very slow. And that could be frustrating for them. So I find that it works much better when I use our Samsung tablet or have them um, either using my phone, um, or using a computer. Uh, it runs much smoother that way. So my older son thinks that ABC Mouse is boring. And so he quickly expressed his disinterest. And this is an application that I've used before with him um, as he was getting ready for preschool and he would get really excited about the tickets and the songs um, and the different book options. And he's now six and he's like, mm, I don't like this. This is boring. This is for babies. Whereas my younger son really enjoys it, as I mentioned. And it was really nice recently. I noticed they had a um, collection of Marvel books that you can select from. And my younger son is really into superheroes and the Marvel comics. And so that was really nice that there was content um, that really matched the interest. Uh, in terms of the read the books and the books are nice because uh, it reads the books out loud so it's like an audio book with the physical book there where they're turning the digital pages and so that was a really nice feature that i did enjoy about abc mouse um the biggest downsides are my my older son just is not as engaged and it costs so there's an expense they do have free trials and things of that nature, but there's definitely a monthly or yearly subscription cost, which is a big downside. However, I will say the subscription cost is not a lot. It might be between five and eight dollars a month. And so when I think about five or eight dollars, I probably spend that at Starbucks on one drink or if I get breakfast, if I get a breakfast sandwich and a coffee. And so the cost isn't extreme. Um, however, if you add it up over the, the year, um, it does add up, especially if it's a resource that your child isn't necessarily going to use. Um, you forget that you have it. It continues to bill you, things of that nature. So you just want to, um, you know, do your homework, um, maybe try out the free trial first um, and go what is best for your child and what your child is interested in. All right, now let's talk about Khan Academy Kids. So I like Khan Academy Kids a lot. Um, one of the things I think I like the most is that it's free and that's amazing, right? And so you can um, download the app. I have it on both my iPhone. I have it on the kids' Fire tablets. Uh, we can access it on the computer as well. I really enjoy the simple interface. It doesn't have a lot of the distracting um, fish tanks and ham hamster cages and all of these other things that ABC Mouse has. Um, the gamification in Khan Academy Kids um, is built in in similar ways to kind of motivate the child to continue to progress. Um, 
it just seems really clean, modern, uh, more up to date interface, very more sleek, I would say, than um, ABC Mouse. That seems to be a little um, antiquated. Um, and my older um, child, Preston, he really enjoys Khan Academy Kids more than ABC Mouse. Um, I like it because I feel like it's easier to navigate to the types of lessons that I'd like him to work on in a given day. So I can go right to um, the section where all of the lessons are displayed and I can say, today we're working on reading and I really want you to learn, work on sight words or I really want you to work on um, blending letter sounds together. Um, and so you can really get down to a very granular level of what you want your child to work on and you're very much in control of that. I, I appreciate that. There's a lot of great math activities, there's logic activities, um, there's a wide variety of activities and I like that they're very digestible um, for the um, child. So again, my children are young and so their attention spans are short and so a five minute activity um, is a lot for them. And so a good goal for us is maybe getting through two or three activities um, during a, a study session that we're working together. Um, and I like it because I can, if I'm making dinner and um, my older son wants to help me, I can give him my phone and say, hey, go into your Khan Academy kids and do an activity. And he can sit in the kitchen with me and work on that activity while I'm trying to prepare dinner and I'm still there to help him if he has a question or just a glance over to make sure that he's doing it right or that he's giving full effort. Um, and so that makes it really nice because they're kind of these quick pieces where you're constantly practicing. And so I really like the Khan Academy Kids option. They do have opportunities for you to track progress and how your um, child is doing. It's really easy startup. There's really no training that's required for you to be able to get your kid going right away. With ABC Mouse, I do feel like the startup isn't as intuitive. So there's like all of these things on the screen and you have your learning path and the classroom and it's it could be overwhelming for me as an adult and so I can imagine for um, my three-year-old or my six-year-old having 12 choices on the screen or even it might not be 12 it might be more like six or nine but that's a lot. I appreciate the simplicity that Khan Academy offers in terms of selecting what your child works on during a given um, session on the app and just making it really simple and kind of taking away all the fluff. Now I know the fluff is stuff that my kids probably really enjoy um, and that's good to have as well but I feel like they get those pieces in other games and things that they play and so when we're ready to sit down and work on academic pieces um, I would prefer that there are no distractions. And so with that being said, I really prefer Khan Academy Kids over ABC Mouse, a easier, simpler, cleaner interface uh, that you have a little bit more control over what your child is working on. And it's free, right? And who can beat free? Khan Academy is a well-known, well-respected resource in education. I would highly recommend that you check out Khan Academy Kids and ABC Mouse. Give them a try and see which one your kiddos like better. Um, or maybe you use both of them for different uh, types of engagement. As we are all staying at home and staying safe, at least that is my hope, I hope that these resources do help you. Feel confident that you are doing the right types of things with your child to keep them learning and engaged uh, while we are at home. And don't forget to take time out for self-care for yourself, to be patient with your child. I know sometimes I get frustrated. I'm like, I know you know this. Uh, and so I just remind you to be patient. Um, as a parent or guardian, you are doing an amazing job if nobody's told you that today. And I just thank you so much for stopping back and visiting our channel, watching this video. And if you have any comments, please feel free to comment below. Uh, you can check out links to both resources below uh, in the description box. If you like this t-shirt, uh, we do have a Teespring store where you can order a uh, Pulling Brilliance Out merchandise t-shirt shirts, mugs, stickers, lots of fun things there. So until next time, thank you, stay safe, and have fun teaching your kids at home.